So this dropped right before this live stream happened. Alan, honey, hey, Sean, thoughts on David Gordon Green leaving The Exorcist? Should the sequel be scrapped? So just dropped this afternoon that David Gordon Green has decided to leave the second film in this new trilogy of Exorcist films, The Exorcist Deceiver. First one was Believer. And they are actively looking for a new person to direct the film. Likewise, there would be a new person to write the film, I would assume, since he had scripting duties on Believer. So what are my thoughts on David Gordon Green leaving? And should they scrap the project? What do I think about David Gordon Green leaving the project? I'm not remotely surprised, <laughs> like at all. I don't know why this would be a positive for anyone for him to stay, where the movie was not well received. People went into it like, I don't think he's the right guy coming off. Like, I don't think he would have been the right guy based off Halloween 2018. And I really like Halloween 2018, but what makes that movie work and what's good about it is totally different from what would make for a great exorcist film. And so I never thought he was a good fit. And then we got Halloween Kills, which I enjoyed, but I thought was a big drop in quality with the writing. And then I, I thought Halloween Ends goes off the rails. and was like, ooh, this is not, I'm worried now, worried. And then we got Exorcist Believer. It got terrible reviews. It underperformed and Blumhouse overpaid for the rights for the Exorcist franchise. And so you have a movie that did not do well on any level. Why would David Gordon Green want to come back? Like, like he's the punching bag, so no one trusts him. It's He's a damaged brand in this regard. Why would Blumhouse want him to come back when he delivered a film that didn't work for fans, critics, or box office? And why would fans want him to come back when we obviously went, that's not it, bro. <laughs> that did not work whatsoever. So the fact that he's not returning, I was waiting for this. This is no surprise whatsoever that he's not returning. Now, should the sequel be scrapped entirely? That's not where I would go. Partially just because on a business level, they paid $400 million for the rights to The Exorcist. They didn't make... They, they only made a, a fraction of that on this one film. And I don't, even in terms of profitability over the budget for Exorcist Believer versus how much it actually made, they're only making a small dent in their $400 million investment. That's separate from the production cost of Believer in Deceiver. So I imagine they, they need a refresh, whether that's like, just kidding, that's standalone. Now we're doing the real exorcist that we want to do. I don't know if it's going to be that or if it is going to be still doing Deceiver and they're just going to bring in another director that hopefully has more credibility to, to try and try and do this. Um, but they, they kind of have to. And who should it be? What should they do? I, I'm not quite sure off the top of my head. I mean, if you, you start going to what do they need to do to earn people back, they need a director with brand recognition, horror cred, James Wan, Michael Flanagan. These are guys that people go, I trust that director with horror and I trust them with franchises. They'll do it right. Now, James Wan, I don't think it's he's an, he, I don't think he's an interesting pick because he's already done his Exorcist movies kind of even beyond that because he did Insidious and Conjuring. So I don't think he's interesting. I, I don't wouldn't want that. It's like an unbelievably safe pick that you kind of know what the movie would be. It would be good. He's not going to make to what David Gordon Green did. James Wan would do it right. But I like, you know, I don't immediately jump to wanting that either. Michael Flanagan, um, he, he's done a lot of different kinds of things with great character work and you need great character work for an Exorcist film. And so maybe, maybe he'd be, see if you can court him, like pull him over here and try and save the day to do what he would do with the Exorcist franchise. So those are the two that immediately come to mind where you just like, you need a, a name that makes people go, okay, I trust that person. Because I don't trust Blumhouse in and of itself. I definitely don't trust the Exorcist franchise as they have it right now. 
Who are horror directors that I do trust? Maybe we throw a new one in here. I don't remember their names. The talk to me guys. Maybe we go outside the box. We bring in some real fresh blood that just is something interesting and cool with talk to me. They got a lot of great buzz. They're a fresh new style and energy to the horror franchise. And maybe that's exactly what you need for the Exorcist franchise. So there's three possibilities of maybe a way to move forward. But um, I am happy David Gordon Green is off of it. I have more faith in the project now. And uh, just a second ago, I talked bad about Blumhouse. To be clear, I really like Blumhouse and the Blumhouse model. But as per the nature of what they do, they are hits. And they are misses. And when they miss, they miss hard. But likewise, sometimes when they hit, they hit big too. And so I love their model, but Exorcist, that was a gigantic swing and a miss. And I think it always was a swing and a miss. And that is a big dent on Jason Blum that he went ahead with that. And he went, yeah, David Gordon Green, go ahead with your crappy idea. <laughs> like, here's some money to make. Uh, I, I bought this for $400 million. Here's $30 million more million to do that crappy script right there. That is a hit on them. Most of these clips are pulled from my Patreon live streams. I do about six live streams every single month for $2 per month, $20 per year. You can get access to all the exclusive videos and live streams for $5 per month. You get your name on my end card. At the top tier, you get a 30 minute video chat with me each month. The link down below in the description has more information.